Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how I slay my lace wigs, how I make the hairline look natural. I'm going to show you how to tweeze it, how to do the parting space, how to do all that stuff. So if you're interested, just stay tuned. Okay, so let's start with the basics of this wig from RPG Show. You guys know that I love RPG Show lace wigs. They are 100% premium human hair. I've had a lot of them and I've never had any problems with them. So when you open up your box, first thing you're gonna see is obviously your wig. They also give you a complimentary wig brush, a wig cap, and they also throw in this fun little magazine which kind of just shows you some tips and tricks. So this wig is the NW009 wig. It's a nice chestnut brown wig with some dark roots and this is wig cap construction number three which means it has three combs and an adjustable strap which helps secure this wig to your head this is a full lace wig, which means that each strand of hair is individually hand tied onto the lace wig cap material. That also means that it gives you a very natural look, especially around the hairline as you can see here. Also with full lace wigs, you can part them anywhere. As you can see, it looks like a natural scalp all over the whole wig because there are no tracks. So RPG Show actually does a pretty good job of making their hairlines look pretty natural, fresh out of the box without any additional customization. As you can see, they do not make their hairlines in a straight line. They add in some dips and curves to more mimic a natural hairline. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can further customize this hairline and make it look even more natural and suit your face and your hairline even better. Okay, so to make the wig look even more natural, I'm going to show you a tweezing technique. What you're going to want to do do is grab some tweezers lay out your wig and of course we're going to be working with the front perimeter of the wig so as you can see I'm sectioning off basically the baby hair section you do not want to work with the very very front of your wig you want to leave some hair sectioned off in the very very front that you are not working with so go ahead and section off that part and begin tweezing the hairs that are right behind it. This is going to be a slow process and you want to be careful not to rip the lace and just pull the hairs out as you go. So as you can see, I already got several strands of hair out and I'm just going to continue tweezing. What you are trying to achieve by this is thinning out the hairline without actually creating a receding hairline. You don't want to bring the whole hairline back further into the wig, but you do want the hairline to appear thinner than the rest of the hair. So you're just tweezing out random sections to create that natural look. If you have a styrofoam head, I suggest you use it. It helps you get a better idea of how it's actually going to look. And the key with this is that you want it to look very random and unplanned. You don't want to have a lot of straight lines or a visible pattern. You want it to look very random because that's what makes it look natural. So just go in and do random chunks here and there. So we started off with a hairline that did have some dips and curves in it, but the hair density was pretty even overall. Now we have thinned it out and made it a lot more uneven, which makes it look a lot more natural. Okay, so I put the wig on and I brought it forward so that none of my natural hair is showing showing underneath just to show you that you really don't need to have any of your baby hairs or any of your natural hair out if you properly customize the wig. But because I want my wig to look super natural, I will be using some of my baby hairs to blend with the wig as well. So I actually did not tweeze or customize this side of the wig at all. And you can see how thick and doll-like and unnatural it looks compared to the other side that I did tweeze. So the next step is to remove this excess lace around the perimeter. So I'm just taking these little scissors and very carefully cutting off this excess lace that's hanging off here. I would suggest that you do this on a mannequin head and not on your real hair just so that you don't cut any of your real hair. But I've done this a couple times so I can do it on my own head. So now without that excess lace in the way, you can see how my natural baby hairs blend in seamlessly with the new thinness of the perimeter of the wig. If I would not have tweezed this wig, there would be a very harsh line between the thinness of my natural baby hairs and the thickness of the untweezed wig. So that's why you want to tweeze the wig so that there's a smooth transition and you don't see that harsh line. So you definitely want to go through and cut off all of the remaining excess lace so that it's not in your way. And then you definitely want to go in with a fine tooth comb and comb through it so that you can remove any of those loose hairs that might still be hanging around. And then I'm also going to comb out my natural baby hairs just to get them going in the right direction. 
So now that the hairline itself is looking pretty good, let's work on the part because that's not looking so natural right now. So with a rat tail comb, I'm just going through the part and separating out a few strands of hair on the part. I'm going to be pulling these strands of hair out in order to thin out the parting space even more. If you carefully just take two or three strands of hair at a time, you can actually just pull them out and you don't need to use tweezers. Now I'm going to take some of my foundation powder and a very small makeup brush and I'm actually going to paint this powder into the parted area. This is one of the most important parts in making your lace wig look natural because you want your quote unquote scalp to actually mimic the same color that your natural scalp would be. So using your foundation powder is the best way to achieve the appropriate color. By using this technique, you should be able to create a seamless transition between your face, your baby hairs, and the wig. There should not be a line of demarcation and you should not be able to tell where the wig starts and ends. This next step is optional, but I do like to take a little bit of lash glue and just place a small dot right there on the parting area. And then I just allow it to get tacky for a few seconds and then I just hold it down until it sticks to my scalp. And you can also use like a makeup brush or something like that if it's sticking to your fingers too much to just hold it down for like 30 seconds until it sticks. And this is just to ensure that it's not going to lift up or shift around at all throughout the day. And then I just touch it up with a little bit more makeup powder as well. Next we got to go in and slay those baby hairs. So I know everyone has a different technique of how they like to style their baby hairs and what products they like to use. I just use the cream of nature edge control and I just place a little bit onto my baby hairs and I like to use a coarse toothbrush to brush them into place. And when I'm doing this I actually try to take some baby hairs from the wig itself and incorporate them into my natural baby hairs. That way everything Thing is all blended together and there's no harsh lines at all so keep that in mind try to bring out some of the hairs from the wig as well and get some edge control on there and get them going with your natural baby hairs the other thing I like to do is just get some hairspray and spray it all around the perimeter of my hair just to slick down any flyaways and make sure that everything is being held in place and lastly, you just want to take your wig brush and brush out the hair, style the wig, do whatever you need to do to it. If you're going to curl it, straighten it, all that stuff. These are human hair wigs, so you can pretty much do anything in terms of styling. I decided to just keep it simple and just brush the wig out and go with the curls that it came with. So this is the finished product. This is all the steps of how you can slay a lace wig and make it look the most natural. I hope this video was helpful and informative. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if it was, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.